Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We had this gameplay here, and I thought it might be cool for me to talk over the gameplay. Because for one, I feel like it's much easier for me to focus on talking to you guys when I'm not playing. And then for two, we're just, we're just going to test it out. But today we're going to be talking about why people think Naruto and Black Clover are so similar, and why people think Naruto is just like the god for all shonen tropes. So I'm on episode 8 of Black Clover and it's pretty good so far and I've seen the original Naruto series I have absolutely zero desire to continue it because it just seems like they added too much but that's besides the point. Uh, even watching Black Clover now I got into it and I knew a lot of people were saying oh it's basically a Naruto clone. I'm like oh well great. But I really besides the main shonen trope of oh I want to be the top dog which the wizard king isn't even the top dog he's not the king he's like the second in command but besides that I really don't see that many similarities so for one a lot of people like to compare Naruto to uh, Asta because Naruto wants to be Hokage because he wants to have people respect him and then Asta wants to be wizard king and both of those ideas are like oh high ideal ideals or they want to be top dog or close to dog talk but as I already said Wizard King is not necessarily the top dog he's like the top dog of the military and of all the um I think they're called the knights but the king is still the top dog also with Asta in contrast to Naruto Naruto's goal is kind of a selfish goal and then he Finds friends and happiness throughout the way, like with Sasuke, Sasuke, Sakura, uh, Hanada. But Asta, he's not doing it for himself. He's doing it for his um, for his town, because everyone knows him as a Hicks. Everyone knows him as a Boonies, or like really poor people. Whenever royals like Noel talk to him, they treat him with disgust. But he's trying to make a name for his town. I think that's pretty noble the and selfless that he's doing it for not his town. I mean, yeah, sure, once he gets through it all, um, he will be he will be in a position of power and people will respect him, but that's not really his end goal. It's for, it's for other people who have absolutely no respect for him at all. Touching on people not having respect for the main character, uh, that's another thing people like to say is everyone hated us, everyone hated Naruto. People hated Naruto because he had a demon that could destroy the entire leaf village inside of him. And, like, he was left on his own. He he could either go super bad or go super good. Luckily, he went super good. However, with Asa, he was hated because he had no power whatsoever. And with Naruto, he had a chakra. He actually had a larger pool of chakra, but he just didn't know how to control it. And with Asta, like I said, he had nothing. And he still had the work ethic. All the push-ups, all the sit-ups, all the exercises he's done, all on his own to try and get a grimoire when he has absolutely no magical prowess. And this is very inspiring. I know for me, it's a, it's a reason why I want to work out because I see Asta up there every day or not every day every episode working his ass off and then I was like man I'm out of shape aren't I so side note this is the absolute worst part of the domain I hate hydro uh, abyss mage anyway another comparison I hear is oh well Asta has a demon inside of him Naruto has a demon inside of him and this isn't something from the first episodes but based off when I made my TikTok, someone commented uh, more information about Asa and his grimoire, and this is manga spoilers, so if you don't want to hear it, maybe just like skip a minute. But with Asta, his grimoire, he obtained it because he absolutely no magical power, and the demon inside the grimoire was just like, oh, I choose him. That's what I got from the comment that I saw. Whereas Naruto had the demon inside of him from Minato, um, which came from Kushina, I think. And he already had the demon inside of him, so there is a bit of a con. But Saxman, what about the idea of the darker, more serious uh, rival versus the louder, more energetic protagonist? Oh, well, you have the inverse of that with Bakugo and Deku. You have Goku and Vegeta doing that, which, you know, I think that came before Naruto. And then you have, even in Bleach, you have... God, I hate this battle. But even in Bleach, at the beginning when Ichigo actually rivals someone, you have Ishida being calm and serious, 
And then you have Ichigo. Yeah, he's serious, but he's a little bit more energetic. Also, the comparison with uh, with Sasuke and Yuno, I feel like the only thing people have are serious in black hair. Like, Sasuke had his whole story of his clan being killed, and then, like, even Kakashi got sick of it when Sasuke was, like, sobbing. It's like, oh, you guys don't understand death and what I've been through. And then Kakashi's like, I'm a ninja in the military. I've had, I've seen a lot of death myself. Whereas with Yuno, Yuno was, Yuno was actually inspired by Asta. He saw how Asta wanted to be Wizard King, and he was just like, you know what? I'm going to be Wizard King too, Asta. You're going to be my rival. Even though he knew Asta had no magical powers, he thought it would be a good idea. He thought that Asta would be a good rival because of how... Probably because of Asta's determination. Also with Sasuke, I felt he was just more edgy and just like, Oh, uh, I, I hate everyone. Uh, I mean, granted his whole entire clan died, but like, I find that a little bit more annoying versus Yuno's like a little bit more serious. Yeah, he's a jackass, but I feel like I liked his character a little bit more. I don't think anyone tries to compare Yami and Kakashi, but if they did, why? I mean, like, Yami's just like... Oh, I'm, I'm down here. I'm super gruff, dude. Oh, I look like a I look like a bear. And then Kakashi's like super laid back. He actually reminds me more of Gojo, but I know like Gojo and Kakashi's personalities are actually a little bit like they're different. But yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna touch on for the uh, Black Clover stuff. I don't really have much about Sakura and Noel because I haven't seen much of Noel. But um, yeah, it's kind of funny that how I saw this in only the first eight episodes, or first seven. I mean, all the Naruto fans that are just like trying to claim this show, it's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Because someone who has just started watching it, and I actually do enjoy Black Clover, that's another difference, I enjoy Black Clover. But someone who has just started can already tell the difference that they're trying to draw and trying to claim this information, or claim this show. Now to touch on Naruto fans thinking that they're just the gods, uh, that Naruto's just a god of all shonen tropes. <laughs> Why? Like, on my uh, TikTok video, there were people in the comments saying like, oh, well, you know, it's pretty similar. Oh, well, you know, Naruto has all these tropes and uh, Black Clover has similarities and stuff. Only after they said that it was a copy and then I disproved them and they were like, oh, well, actually, it's just similar, but that's another story. But honestly, for one, Shonen has been out before Naruto. And for two, I feel like Dragon Ball Z with Goku and Vegeta's uh, dynamic is much more applicable to this. Although I only saw one episode of Dragon Ball Z, and that was actually a pretty cool episode. I think it was like a Piccolo defending Krillin and Gohan or something. But anyway... Uh, even though I've only seen a limited amount, I know a little bit about uh, Dragon Ball. And even with a little bit I know, you can tell that Goku's the more like silly, energetic one. Vegeta's the calm one, which, you know, kind of sounds like what people are trying to say Naruto and Sasuke were. And also, Goku's like the overpowered, overpowered main character. Kind of an underdog, because if I remember correctly, uh, Dragon Ball original, it was a Saiyan that was just on Earth. And he... I don't know if he was the only Saiyan, but if he is, well, that just proves my point even more. Goku being an outsider in the original Dragon Ball would only relate more to Naruto being an outsider. But then again, I asked Roskai about this. He didn't really answer, but that's, that's what I got. Sure, a lot of things were inspired by Naruto, but I feel like Naruto fans just need to stop claiming shows. Like, any time a show gets popular, like with Jujutsu Kaisen, the manga hadn't been popular for a while, and then as soon as episode one came out, people were like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then when more characters were developed, Naruto fans were like, oh, it's an Naruto clone. Ha ha, it's an Naruto clone. It was inspired by our goaded show. No. Yes, there are similarities between shows, but whether or not, that shouldn't really matter. The show itself is much, in is much independent. It's very independent. Saying that a show is a clone uh, similar is okay, but saying that a show is a clone kind of detracts from the value of the show. And it probably, if you told the manga author that, they go like, Yeah, I took some inspiration, but I don't think it's a clone. I try to add some originality. Anyway, I'm about out of time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. 
This is on my second account where I got catching. Um, catching's kind of broken. Um, I'm trying to use Amber, as you can see. She's not that good of a... I, I'm trying to make her good, but... Uh, fun tip. If you use Jingchu's ult with, uh, catching, it's very broken, because it's just constant electro charge. But, moral of the story, uh, Naruto, f <laughs> Naruto fans, your show is not the gospel or the template for all modern shonens. Yeah, they can take things from the ideas of shonens, and honestly, I think the ideas are just because some kids don't feel like they fit in when they're younger, especially kids that watch anime, because they know to run in the hallways. Seeing another main character that doesn't fit in probably makes them feel more relatable, and probably just makes them feel more comfortable. It's probably why I related to Ichigo, because I really like helping people, and that's his main goal. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this format as opposed to the other one, let me know, and I'll do more like this. Uh, drop some ideas in the comments.